Hello and welcome to our today's webinar, What's New in Easy Red Mind 2019. My name is Anna Ogunusi and I will be your host for today's webinar. Before we start the webinar itself, I would like to actually introduce Easy Red Mind. So, what is Easy Red Mind? As you can see on our homepage, it says the number one Redmine platform trusted by uh, more than 3,000 business, uh, businesses globally. And you can easily upgrade from your Redmine to Easy Redmine 2019. However, what, what is it that Easy Redmine will bring you? How will it benefit you? Well, Easy Redmine is simply a, a software that helps you to manage your projects, your finances, your resources, tasks. Uh, in one place, as well as analyze the data within one application. Uh, I can see someone has raised their hand. So uh, during this webinar, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, type in the Q&A, which is in the toolbar of this webinar, and I will uh, get to your questions throughout the webinar as we go or at the end of the webinar as well. So for Easy Redmine, you can actually set up a 30 days free trial uh, to test Easy Redmine for free to see what Easy Redmine is about and how uh, you and your business can benefit from implementing Easy Redmine within your company. Uh, however, today's webinar is most, um, more focused on what's actually new in Easy Redmine. And to find out more, we can simply check Check it over here and explore what are the new features. So uh, in 2019, we actually had two uh, lots of updates. The first one was in May and now we had a recent one in October. So we have had some improvements in the task management, which is the model view of tasks as well as diagrams. We also had some improvements in our resource man, uh, resources management, uh, which is the resource auto balancer and uh, reservations. Then also we have improved meeting calendar, which is called Easy Scheduler. Uh, we have some DevOps plugins, uh, diagrams, business intelligence, dashboards, and we also have new designs themes. As you can see, there's, there's quite a lot that has been updated, upgraded, and uh, new things that were brought this year. So today we will have a look at uh, the main bits. And uh, unfortunately we won't be able, because you can see there's quite a lot of it, we won't be able to go into details. So we will look into it uh, briefly. Uh, before I uh, dive into each upgrade or each, um, feature itself. I would like to let you know that we regularly run webinars and there's quite a few topics that we have already covered in our previous webinars. So if you go to our, if we go back to the home page and you would go under services and webinars, this is a place where not only you can sign up uh, for our upcoming webinars, but also you will find here recordings of our previous webinars, such as for resource management, gun chart, etc. So this is a really good place to have a look at once we finish today's webinar, where you will be able to find out even more details about the features that I'll be mentioning today to, during today's webinar. So for the purpose of today's webinar, I have already set up my 30 days free trial, where I will be showing you the features that uh, are new or improved in Easy Redmine this year. Uh, if you are new to Easy Redmine, perhaps you might not even have a trial or you have a trial, but you have not really been working with Easy Redmine. Uh, I strongly suggest you join us on Thursdays uh, because every Thursday, at 2 p.m. Uh, we run an online onboarding session, which is a kind of a webinar, but it's specifically meant for starting up with Easy Redmine. So that's something you might want to consider. And right now, because the time is running, uh, let's start 
with, with the features and the improvements itself. So the first one that I would like to mention, and it's also something that you might come across where you're, when you are actually setting up your Easy Red Mind trial, is the new design themes. So when you are setting up your Easy Red Mind trial in the first uh, form, you will be asked to fill in your personal details, your name, your surname, your phone number, etc. And in the step two of this process or of this form, uh, you will be actually asked to choose your theme. So that's a one place where you can do that. And I'll be also showing you where you can do it later in case you want to change it anytime later. So new themes are also available under your personal profile and when we edit. So what is the design theme? So Easy Red Mine uh, comes with two new design themes uh, simply to meet the user's uh, needs. So because before we had this nice and bright theme only, but right now we added two more themes, which is compact and dark. Compact theme is light color theme. So actually the colors and the lighting is the same as for this default theme. However, the elements are shown more compact uh, in order to eliminate the need to scroll down. So more uh, stuff will show within a single screen. As you can see, the things got closer to each other, the writing got smaller, so that's the compact theme. And then of course, we also have the dark theme. Dark theme displays dark surfaces across the majority of the UI, and it helps really to improve the visual ergonomics by reducing eye strain and facilitating screen use in dark environments. Because you know that especially if you if you work in places that are not well lit or if you if you work at night and you don't really put up the light or everything, then uh, your your eyes may start hurting. They might get really dry from uh, looking into the screen. So for such reason, we have come up with this. Um, uh, design theme to actually reduce the strain on your eyes. For the purpose of this webinar, I will actually switch back to the default. So we have it nice and bright and we can see everything uh, nice and clear. Uh, so those were the design themes and moving from that, I would like to continue into uh, Easy Scheduler. Easy Scheduler uh, was released in May 2019. Uh, you can find it on your home dashboard, so on your home page, as well as in the menu more, which is in the right upper corner. And what is Easy Schedule? So Easy Scheduler is simply an improved uh, meeting calendar where you not only manage your meetings, but you can you can manage uh, attendance, so you can log in when you came to work, when you are leaving work, you can uh, manage your tasks, you can manage CRM cases and sales activities, and all that through uh, simply drag and drop within the easy schedule. So as you can see over here, you have the tasks and you can be planning them within even part of the day. And you also uh, have the meetings, etc., over here. At the bottom of the Easy Scheduler, you will find a legend, such as which color corresponds with what type of activity in your scheduler. And then what's really, what I see as the main benefit is that you can actually plan a task within a particular time of the day. Uh, that's something that we were often asked about uh, by our clients before. Uh, especially when you plan work for your workers. So this, you can use this for yourself. If you are a team member, if you don't manage really uh, other, uh, other stuff, as well as if you are a manager and you have a whole team under yourself. So you can be managing and planning and scheduling workload for them into, into their calendar. Because in past, uh, when people were working with Gantt chart, uh, we were asked if like people wanted to be able to uh, move it into a particular part of the day. 
day. But as you know, when you work with Gantt, you are um, essentially working just with the start date and the due date, which is a date, not really a time of the day. So you were not able to actually, unless you put it in the update of the task, you were not able in any other way to show the person, okay, this is something that you need to work uh, at every morning for five days. Or you wanted it for yourself. Okay, so before this meeting, I'll be working on this particular task and you had to, instead of like putting it in your calendar as a task, you had to be creating a meeting, etc. So now we made it as easy as drag and drop. And you can literally be planning it into the time. You can be prolonging the meetings, prolonging the tasks. And as you can see, what's also uh, really good about Easy Scheduler is it will alert you in case you are trying to plan the task uh, outside of its start date and the due date, uh, if the task is already closed. So all these things uh, Easy Scheduler will help you to manage. So as I said, the main, um, the main thing is that you can actually manage your meetings and your tasks and your attendance and CRM cases and sales activities if you are working in the sales team within one single screen. Uh, this is especially beneficial for managers who manage uh, a team of people because it essentially means that you can manage your whole workload for one single place without the need of actually leaving the the screen the current screen where you are so you don't have to be opening new windows you don't have to be clicking anywhere else you can even as you can see right now you can be updating the tasks from uh from the screen of easy scheduler so right now as you can see i have actually clicked on one of the tasks and that brought us to another new feature that is available within Easy Redmine, and that's what we call model view of tasks. Model view of task means uh, that it, it enables you to see or edit all important uh, data related to a specific task uh, in a pop-up window. Because in past, or actually if we work in any other feature, let me show you what it looked like before or what it still looks like. This is something new that is available, but not necessarily you always have to use only the model view of task. You can also view, uh, use a view where you can, like your whole screen reloads. So let's find a task that we can have a look at. So when you normally work with tasks and you want to update a task, it will open like the whole window will reload or you can open it in a new window. And this is what it looks like. So it's the whole page is actually the task and then you can update it here. Well, what we are doing in Easy Schedule is a pop-up window and you can simply just go into these attributes and simply change them, edit them directly in the pop-up window. You can also change the description of the task. You can add a new comment, which is an update of a task, as well as uploading an attachment, logging spend time. So how much uh, time you spend working on this task, which is very beneficial to do for future resources uh, planning. You can see your coworkers on the task and you can, you can add coworkers and you can add tags. You can edit the task and other attributes within uh, the pop-up window. So it's really like a compact view of everything that can usually be found under various tabs and columns or button on the task, which we can see over here. And most importantly, the model of view is extremely fast and easy to use. And its main purpose is really to save time 
uh, especially because the page is not loading again, it just comes up as a pop-up window, so, so it really saves time uh, working with tasks. So we came from uh, scheduler into task management, and since we are in task uh, view, I would like to uh, show another thing, uh, which are diagrams. Uh, diagrams are part of the DevOps uh, plugins bundler that incorporates improved requirements, test cases, and uh, diagrams. Today we will dive, uh, I will just show you the diagrams and uh, to find out more about the rest of the uh, DevOps plugins, such as the requirement and test cases, uh, you can join our next webinar, which will focus on uh, DevOps and Jenkins uh, only. So uh, what are diagrams? Recently, we have added this feature uh, because diagrams, uh, in particular, they show uh, processes. Okay, I'm sorry, my window just froze. Uh, so they help us to actually uh, draw uh, processes, uh, which is very beneficial for people who are uh, working in, uh, let's say, some manufacturing so how the process goes or who are going through some phase of uh, even uh, business analysis and they need to be showing what are the stages what are the processes what comes afterwards etc and to do that you can be using a diagram so when we click on update the uh, task and we want to start typing in the comments, so which would be the update on the task. You can see right now we have a button called diagram. When we click on the button, we'll be asked to create a name of the diagram. And then we can create the diagram itself. The window will reload and will be brought to a screen where we can start choosing the components of our diagram. So we can choose from various shapes, arrows, anything. And then we can create even relations between the shapes. We can be deleting shapes, adding shapes creating various relations we can be enlarging shapes uh, we can even be adding text into the shapes etc and once we are happy with what we have created or we just want to save it for now and get back to that later we simply click on save and right now you can see that now we have the diagram over here we would save the update, the comment on the task, and then we want to get back to it later. Uh, we will find it over here. Not only we will see it as a picture, we can always choose also a version in case we have already updated it several times, which is really good because it keeps track of, of all the changes that have been done to that. So if, if you change the processes as you go, you know, you can always get back to the previous version or you can simply click on edit the diagram and you can edit it again and save. So as you can see, there's a really big variety of shapes and attributes to choose from. So that would be the diagrams. As I said, the other uh, DevOps plugins, please join the, web, uh, the webinar, the next webinar. And in that relations, I would like to, in the relation to the DevOps, I would like to briefly uh, mention Jenkins, but before we do so, let me check. Uh, so we have a question. Uh, John is us or saying it seems that themes are system-wide. 
It seems that in this new version, there are users selectable, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. So in the new uh, version, so every user, uh, so the uh, design theme really, uh, every user can can change it for, for themselves. It's the same thing like for instance, how languages work. Each user within your Easy Redmine can have a different, a different language. So the same thing because naturally, one uh, custom design thing cannot work for everyone. Someone like prefers the light one, someone prefers the dark one. So people change it. And that's why people change it on the profile. That's why it's not in the administration. So thank you for that question. And uh, so just to mention the Jenkins, which uh, is something that was uh, released with the uh, newest release of updates in October. Uh, so you can actually integrate your Redmine with Jenkins and other CI or CD tools to get continuous integration that will boost your DevOps. Uh, that sounds really technical, doesn't it? Um, so what Jenkins really does, it, it allows you to have continuous uh, integration uh, and automated integration. So it's really useful for people who are stand, for instance, uh, work on developing website and they work uh, with GitLab. So uh, with Jenkins, they can connect uh, GitLab with their Easy Redmine, and meaning that um, at some point, if they change, they can set an update if they change a task status from one to another, uh, to a, of course, a specific uh, task status, that it will automatically run. Uh, start running a process, which is the part of the continuous integration. However, Jenkins is something very technical and um, it's part of the, of the DevOps really. Uh, so during, for our next webinar, we will actually have um, the developer of, the, of all the DevOps, including uh, Jenkins, this, uh, cases and requirements uh, with us. So he will talk much more into detail and he will explain this to you much better than myself. Uh, another question uh, from Alexander, if the final version is as slow as this one or is it a specific demo? Uh, if you are talking about my version that I'm showing you right now, that might not be, uh, I'm afraid that's not uh, the Easy Redmine itself, that's actually my, my internet at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not in the office to be honest. So it might be, it's actually not, not it might be, it's the internet. So the speed is really good. And even with all the uh, new edit stuff, um, it's really good, especially, you know, when you work with things like pop-up windows, and the screen doesn't have to uh, upload all again. So no worries about the, about the speed there. I can assure you about that. Uh, so uh, we spoke about the themes. Uh, we mentioned e Easy Scheduler uh, from which we went into the task management, so the improved task management, which is the model view of task. And then uh, when updating task, we can use the diagrams. From diagrams, we mentioned uh, DevOps and Jenkins very briefly. And uh, so right now I would actually dive into our resource management. And for that, we will go to menu more and resource management over here. And here I want to show you uh, two, yeah, definitely this will load much faster. It's really, I'm sorry about my internet connection today. Uh, so over here, I want to show you and mention two new improvements. One is reservations, which was released in May. And the, the latest one is uh, Balancer. So let's start with the reservations. Uh, so what, what really are reservations? Uh, 
So reservations is another update or another new feature that we brought based on the um, based on the feedback from our clients because they wanted to be able to book their resources without having to do it through a particular task as in uh, you know that uh, you will be going on a business trip or you know that you will be on a plane or um, that you will be attending a, a full day meeting in future it's like not necessarily related to a specific meeting that is already planned or to a specific task it can be like something like you just need to book some because you know that a new project is coming up in November but the project is not specifically set up yet and you need to book the person to make sure that they have a free capacity to work on the project or be in the meeting etc And uh, how to do that? Creating a reservation is actually very easy. So you can simply just use the drag into the resource management. You can use, make it as small as big and you, and once you release the pop-up window will show. You have to call the reservation. The start date and due date is pre-filled based on your drag and drop uh, within the resource management chart. However, over here you can change it so you can adjust the start date and the due date. The assign is the person uh, under who you were doing the reservation. So you can't actually change it over here. So if you if you made it by mistake under someone else, just close the window and find the right person. You can put it under a specific project, but you don't have to. Uh, here is the maximum allocation time, and here is the estimated time that can be added either in hours or percentage. And then you can also choose the resource allocator. You have few to choose from, such as from end, uh, from end, from start, evenly slow, from future to end, future evenly, etc. If you need, you can also add some description, and you can click on save. And then the reservation just shows over here and it will always stand out because it's uh, one thing you can see over here the it shows differently from the tasks you can't really like click on it for the task to open so you have the name uh, over here and also the color is different so if you see over here it's kind of like orange or scent kind of color and if we go to the legend of the resource management at the bottom, we'll find out that that stands for reservations. So that's one of the improvements in our resource management. And the second one is called uh, balance. So balance feature is the feature that was released uh, now in October. And uh, so if we want to use this feature, we would have to go in the tools and balance. It can be used both on the global level and on the project level. And when we click on it, what does it really do? So all allocated hours of all displayed user assigned tasks, so there must be uh, expanded and visible on the timeline will automatically redistribute throughout the entire task duration based on the user's free capacity taking into account their daily work hours vacations as well as other allocations to break it down for you so first of all when we want to use the balance we have to have a look and it will only affect the, the task the user assigned tasks that are expanded visible here. So if we were to use the uh, balance right now, it will only, from the whole list over here, it will only affect Connie the consultant. However, if we click on the plus uh, for other users and their task would show over here, and now we use the balance, it'll affect Connie, Constantine, but it'll, uh, it'll still work for 
each uh, task individually. And another thing which is important, uh, it works based on the priority over here. So it'll first start uh, with the urgent for the particular person, with the urgent, then high priority, and then normal. Uh, so this automatic balancing process is based on the allocator called um, future evenly, which means that ours are allocated evenly throughout duration of the task starting from today. That's why it's future evenly, because it won't affect the past, obviously. Uh, and it will start from today and change the uh, hours allocation into the future. Only the last day of the task duration is never auto-balanced because all the remaining hours will be put into that. And uh, another thing is that once you use the balance, and then you would uh, create some new vacation, you would lock a new vacation, it won't take it into notice anymore. So once the you use the balance and it's like a one-off thing, and if you, after that, the person has some vacation or anything else that changes, that affects the allocations of the hours that they can work, you have to go and use the balance again. Then there's one caveat to it also regarding what's the difference between using it on the global resource management and on the project uh, level. The thing is that if you use it on a project level, it will only take into notice the task uh, for the user within that particular project, not from other projects. So therefore, I usually recommend using balance tool on the global level. So it would take into notice all, all uh, tasks within all the project that the person is a member of. Uh, so that will be about resource management. So far, we don't have any questions for this. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, so then we have some improvements, uh, for instance, in our help desk as well. Uh, so the help desk works, uh, it's even uh, more user-friendly, it works better. And over here, you can actually sh uh, also see one of the other improvements, which is the no new global dashboards. Um, so all the, uh, all the uh, main features within Easy Red Mine, they have new visual dashboards, which will give you a perfect overview of all the progress on project tasks, milestones, sprint resources, etc. What it really means is that when you open uh, when you open, I'll show you now on help desk and then I'll show you on our business intelligence as well. Uh, so on these things right now, you have like a, a filter where you can be filtering projects, periods, assigning for a help desk. You will see that for business intelligence is slightly different. Uh, it will also show you, so those are like improved uh, filters. Uh, then you can see some trends. All these trends, of course, they can be tailored to your needs. So whatever you need to see that, whatever data you need to see that, you, you would get to see that. This is just an example of what it can look like. So you just open the dashboard of the help desk. You can directly see that there are five unassigned tickets, you know, in the morning. You are, a, imagine you are a help desk manager. So you know you need to assign it to your team. How many tickets are open? You can check why are they open? Why are they not closed yet? Uh, and solve tickets, so it'll help you also to create some statistics. Uh, we did a webinar recently on help desk, so there will be sh uh, shortly a recording of that webinar on our website. Uh, so you can, if if you if you use help desk or if you are planning to use help desk uh, within your Easy Red Mind, you can have a look at that webinar because it goes much more into detail on how specifically to work, how to set up a help desk project, how to work with the tasks, how to uh, connect a mailbox with the project and with the task and etc. Moving on, uh, let's go to business intelligence which I have already mentioned.
what is a business intelligence? Um, so basically when you work with uh, the project management, you manage your tasks, uh, you manage your resources in Easy Red Mind, uh, you manage your finances. So all this is lovely. Um, but what if you then need to analyze the data? Uh, in past, uh, like last year, you would have to go take out the data, you know, and analyze it somewhere else or just use Excel sheet or a calculator even. But right now you can do all that uh, and even more and even better and even more efficiently uh, within Easy Redmine. Uh, so business intelligence ultimately uh, analyzes the data that you have uh, inputted in, into your Easy Redmine. And the most important number that business intelligence gives you is, of course, the return on investment, which is the most important number for all businesses anyways, because that shows you whether you are profitable and you are making money or not. That's one thing, but business, our, our business intelligence takes it even to another level because not only you can see the basic numbers, such as what are your incomes, costs, you can also actually integrate it with your Google AdWords. So if you are running advertisements on Google, uh, you will see it will bring the spendings you have on Google and take it them into, into account over here. Then of course you have here the number, whether you are already making money or not. But it also helps you to actually uh, analyze the specific markets that you work on. So if you are like us and we sell Easy Rent Mind, we sell our software all over the world, uh, thanks to business intelligence, we can actually see which market for us is the most profitable. So if we know that uh, we have much better return on investment in uh, Germany rather than Japan, we are like, okay, so let's move the uh, the uh, financial resources for marketing onto Germany because there we're going to make much more money rather than spending it in a place which is not very profitable for you. Just like it does it with the, with the countries or with the regions, the countries, it also can do it with the product. So if you are, again, like uh, like uh, Easy Software, where we have several products, several softwares that we actually offer to our clients, it will also tell you which one is the most profitable, which one is worth investing into and developing it further at this, uh, at this point. So it really helps you to analyze all the data that you have. And not only it will give you like this lovely home dashboard, but when you click on any of the graphs and charts, it comes up with a pop-up window that brings you into more detail. There's not really much numbers to show you over here, but it brings you into the detail. So right now we can see, for instance, a return on investment in Germany is 3.06. Okay, that's a number, but how was it calculated? Where did it come from? Which other numbers is it based on? Well, click on it and what will happen? Voila, a pop-up window with the, uh, with the data that we, that we really need. So just right now we can see how much we are spending on Google AdWords, the incomes, the return on investment, incomes in time, income per product, if you are selling several products. And again, when you click on it, other data will show. So that's really the, uh, the what uh, business intelligence can do for you. So it helps you to get ready for your meetings, to report to your manager, or simply to get ready for the uh, for uh, a presentation uh, to the board. Uh, where you have to justify some of the actions that you have taken or you have to justify the budget that you have for the next year for marketing, etc. This will just save your time because it does it. It does the kind of uh, not only analysis, uh, review, but you don't really have to spend the time digging the data yourself. You just click on it and you would see. 
So we are 40 minutes into our webinar. So I think uh, it's time we sum up the webinar. Uh, so today we had a look at the releases and upgrades and the new feature just, uh, features that came out in May and October. We had a look at the improved uh, design themes, improved task management, uh, resource management, um, and then we mentioned few other things such as DevOps, Diagrams, Jenkins, and uh, Help Desk. Uh, so for resource management scheduler and help desk and business intelligence, uh, we have uh, webinars for each of these, which go much more into detail. So look at the recording of the webinar or sign up for the upcoming webinar if you are into the more techie stuff, as I would say, uh, for the DevOps uh, diagrams and Jenkins. Uh, we have another question, which is a really good, valid question. Alexander is asking, uh, can we add our data in the trial or do we start from blank project, please? So the trial itself comes with what we call uh, demo data. So, uh, and they are there simply just to show you what it will look like once you import your own data and start your own projects. However, you can easily delete them and the easiest way to delete them is to open the trial settings up here and in the step two you can delete the clean the demo data here so after that all these um, demo projects and tasks and resources such as the people that you saw in the resource management all of that will disappear even if you already started your own projects and your own task within Easy Redmine, and then, then you click on the data demo data, the data that you have imported or created yourself won't be deleted. And on that topic, as I said, every Thursday at 2 p.m., uh, with an exception of today, actually, uh, we run the onboarding session. So sign up for the onboarding session. You can do that on our website as well. Next to the webinars, there is a page called onboarding sessions, where within 30 minutes, we give you like the basics, how to start work, working with your easy run mind easily and effortlessly and uh, just make it as efficient for you uh, as possible to, so you can start working on your projects. Uh, so join us next week for that to get more information. Recorded webinars, don't really worry about the URL, go under services, and then in the toolbar here, it's webinars. Uh, we are yet to put the help desk recording, but other past webinars such as resource management, Gantt, business intelligence, scheduler, etc are, are over here and you can sign up also for the diagrams and devops webinar that uh, is coming mid-november uh, another question is about importing data yes you can import data so once you export it you can import it but there are many ways to import it uh, and that's something that import is something that we talk about uh, during the onboarding sessions as well. Uh, so before we finish off, uh, I would like to also uh, mention the uh, the pricing and the plans that we offer. So is a red mine, we offer several plans based on the size of your project. Uh, this basic price includes uh, things such as um, the basic task management and Gantt. And then if you want to use some resource management, finance management, um, or even DevOps or schedule, etc., uh, these things you can choose over here and add them to your basket. And then simply you can actually uh, sort out your subscription online over here. Or the longer the subscription period you choose, uh, the better the discount. So you can see that 
with 12 months plan you are actually saving almost 300 euros on your subscription and then you simply fill in your bill billing details and sort it out this way so if you have any other questions i will leave it up and running for another couple of minutes you can always also send us your questions through this um, chat window that is available both on the website as well as within the application to get in touch with our support team who can help you with any question you have regarding the pricing or regarding some technical stuff as well so thank you so much for your attention i hope to see you at our future webinars on the onboarding sessions and i wish you good luck with your projects